There we go. I need to remember to record something tonight on the PC. I have a little song for you guys tonight. And we're being a racing part two. I don't give a shit. I probably should edit the title a little bit, saying that I'll be doing my homework a little bit, try to finish up pretty quick during this live stream. I don't know, maybe I want to keep it a surprise. And don't ask me why I'm doing my homework during this live stream. I just automatically decide, oh, you know, it'd be like the greatest idea in the world to do my homework while I freaking do the live stream. Why the hell not? Until you guys could help me out a little bit. But that's the thing. This is like the easiest math in the world. So, you know, I don't have to worry about this shit. You know what I mean? Easy wizzy, no problem do. <clears throat> but the time I'm aiming for is probably like 30, no, not 30 minutes, holy shit. 25 minutes around there to actually get down to the live stream. Because at the moment, I'm just going to do some um, Algebra 2 homework. So. And then maybe you guys could help me out a little bit. Can you guys do that for me? I think you guys could. Because it's. It's not really that hard of stuff, honestly. Easiest. You know, math problem I have. Like, I've been in school for now a week, and this is like my first homework. And the reason for that, of course, is because it's a different setting and it's a different type of learning. So, you know, they want to make it less stressful for, uh, you know, students that are going, you know, to learn their job or learn a skill. You know what I mean? So they make it less stressful for you, which is good. Um, if I can find the homework. If that is the possibility, if I could find it. I honestly don't know where the hell it is. Oh, there it is. The hell. How did I not find you? And did I not find it? <laughs> That's how you guys. I tell you guys. But yeah, just simple ass math and all that shit. Pencil broken. Lovely. I always love a pr broken pencil. Always a broken pencil. <laughs> All I have is a freaking pencil and a pen. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that? I'll be right back real quick.
Ugh. All right, I'm back. Did I miss anything? No, I didn't. Good. That's what I like to know is that so far no one has not joined so that they don't have to wait. You know. Like that, that's just me. You know, like, if there's something going on in the beginning of the live stream, I kind of hope that no one joins right away, you know, just because, you know, I don't want to keep them waiting and all that, you know what I mean? It's just common courtesy to me. I don't know about you guys, but, <laughs> you know, I actually care about providing entertainment to you guys, not, you know, looking at the same screen all day. So, that's what I try to do, as I think of you guys. I think of you guys every single day. And sometimes if I don't speak, that's probably meaning I'm doing a math problem. By the way, just, just letting you know that. And two, like, luckily, because I am in a IEP, I only have to do, like, 10 problems per page. Kaboom Shark, welcome to the live stream, buddy. Um, currently at the moment, well, I guess I could go ahead and get into the gameplay, couldn't I? I could do my homework while I, uh, play this, I guess. <laughs> Every time when I lose, I'm going to do a math problem. How about that? But it's like the simplest math and the easiest math. And actually, let me change the audio thing real quick. There we go. Place it on the headphones. Just so that you guys aren't hearing echoing. Because I kind of wish I had one of them... Uh, one of them headphones where I could, you know, have it around, I forgot, like, the filters. Like, I only have this, uh, front filter for your voice, but you could get, like, a full filter for your microphone so that, you know, surrounding sound doesn't get into your microphone unless you're super close to it. You know what? I kind of wish I had something like that. That would be nice, actually. That would be pretty nice. Okay, I'm being this damn thing. This thing pisses me off now. now I'm gonna win this! Oh my Jesus Christ. Learn to drive? Oh yeah, you better be telling them that, not me. Oh shit! No! I've been across, screw you! God fuckers. I made it across. That's some bullshit. Alright, goddammit. Must <laughs> better do a math problem then. Since I lost that, I gotta do a math problem. So, y over 3 equals 2. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, it's easy math. What am I joking about? This is easy math. Come on. There, I got one down. Alright. Let's try this shit again. Oh, Jesus Christ, now we're on multiplication. Beautiful. Let's go. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know, maybe I should do that for some challenge. And all that is. Every time when I freaking die in this shit or lose. Oh my god, that was too high. Next problem. Mmm, my Jesus Christ. Why? 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 Can't fucking damn it. Uh, 
I'm lucky. I'm good at this fucking math. I am so lucky. Hmm. Oh, I see. Uh, this is stupid. Why did I agree to do this freaking challenge? Alright. There we go again. Yeah, oh, fucking damn it. Two times. Two times I attempted. And about the third time, that dude did that to me. I'm gonna beat this fucking mission. I'm gonna beat this. I'm gonna win the race. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my shit. Fun. Next problem. Oh, this girl pissed me off. I said this will tell how many times I died. Fun fact. Uh, <laughs> why did I agree to do this? Why the hell did I agree to fucking do this shit? God fucking damn it. Reply to a message. Um, I'm using a calculator too, and don't judge me. Cause we're allowed to use a calculator. I don't care what everyone else thinks. You're allowed to use a calculator on homework, whatever. Whatever. Because this stuff you have to use a calculator on no matter what. Alright. Again. Oh, you son of a fucking bitch. Oh, what an asshole. Off of my ass. I'm making a jump too. Sure you all. Next problem. Ugh. Jesus Christ. All right. So next problem. Uh, me, 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 me. Oh, sons of bitches. Uh, I swear the eye because I'm cutting off. I don't know if that's my glasses. Okay. Sorry, I had a thing for a second. I was like. Wait, how am I doing this the right way? Let's go. Uh, wait, you know what? I'll let them all go first, and then I'm gonna go. Suck it! See? It's called being smart. Alright, so I gotta use the loop. Not too high! All right, next one. Lucky they no they're lucky I know my friggin' math. <laughs> Just saying. So 
I'm not exactly sure if I'm doing this the right way, but I'm just assuming I am. Just to notice his nits. Go ahead, go. Where did now go? Suck it! Oh shit. I don't do it too much! I'm not doing it on purpose, I promise guys. I I'm seriously not doing this on purpose. I'm just timing it wrong, if you know. If you know what I mean. I'm completely timing. Oh, it's fucking division, son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> oops. Hey, that that wouldn't be fucking division. Wait the fuck a sec. Wait the fuck a sec. Yep, I might have did this wrong. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> uh. Uh, yeah, I probably said I did this wrong. So, let's fix this. Oh, that's right, yeah. So, wait, I'm... Then I am doing this right. What the fuck? So, wait, technically this would be 2 over 1. Yeah, I, 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 okay. They got me all mixed up. So technically, yeah, technically that would be 2. <laughs> uh because I don't ever remember doing this math. I know that sounds bad, but I really don't remember guys. So this would be two. Come back to that. Next. Let's go again. Ugh, come on. I swear I'm not doing this on purpose, guys. I was legitimately trying to beat this shit. But you see, I keep on... Okay, maybe I had to do a little sooner, but we're not doing math problems. So maybe I have to time it a little better. Okay. Try it again. So I'm trying to figure this out. Did I just do this? That was an epic fail. Again. Because last live stream I was able to do this fine. All of a sudden, I'm having troubles like a motherfucker.
I might be onto something. Wait. I might be on something, guys. Did I just train each other? Okay, I think that time I was actually getting that right. So if you angle yourself to jump the right way, then you should succeed. Like, okay, so like this. I just immediately just killed myself, but I found a way. So next map for question, just because I found that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Assumption. I don't know, I guess this is just a fun way to freaking do your homework, I guess. I don't know. Again. So, you know what? I absolutely give up using that. So, how about we just play as normal, just ride around the track how we're supposed to. Not freaking risk everything, because we're dummies. Like, don't get me wrong, if... Oh, shit. Oh, but I got that double boot. Oh, shit. Man, I remember when I was a little kid, I used to always stress over this, and I still do. I still do. I still do stress over this level, guys. I'm not even kidding when I say I do. But this level is fucking hell. Oh, look at that, I got two. I got two for the best of one. So if you ride along the wall, you'll be set. You guys would be set. Stop cheering. Holy shit, what did I just do? But don't worry. I just got another boost. Oh my gosh, guys. My thing's smoking. When you have something smoking, that's not really much of a good sign. Jesus Almighty! Oh, okay. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh crap! Oh! Okay, these guys aren't stupid. Uh, one of them would attempt to try to jump over there, which would be kind of good because guess what? It gives me less people I have to deal with. But no, it doesn't work like that. Damn. I'm doing it, guys. I just don't want to end up severely damaging my uh, vehicle. Or else I'll be very bad news. If you ask me. Come on. You can do it, Jack. Do it, Jack. Oh. Yes, I won this. Get off my dick. Get wrecked. 
Oh my goodness. And this homework assignment, I can just put aside and do it at school. So, there we go. Do that darn study hall for school tomorrow. I am set. Yes. When is this city gonna provide some challenge, huh? Hey, I watched your race today. You were pretty amazing out there. Oh, thanks. Uh, Kira, uh, this is Ashlyn. She's just... Everyone knows who she is. And Kira's... A, a friend. A very good friend. <laughs> thanks for helping out with that tanker, Jack. You saved a lot of lives. I'm not my father, you know. Ever since I was a little girl, I've looked down at the city streets from that ridiculous palace and imagined a better place. By the way, they're hunting for you. I'd watch out for Errol. I can't protect you from him. Woo! She's a Betty! And she likes you, Jack! Not that I'm gonna count for her taste. I bet you'd love to pin some medals on her chest, huh? <laughs> oh. What? What did I say? What did you say, Jack? Well, that's pretty wrong. I say, buddy, you are the one that said something. <laughs> uh, he is something, I'll tell you. That's why Dexter is like your freaking comedian. Nope. Give me a vehicle. Take it slow now. I don't want to end up breaking this vehicle immediately. Sorry if I bossed it. Oh shit. My bad to you all. But you know, like, yeah, she got some good. You know, she imagined a better place, you know, like. That I can definitely say, you know, she's pretty good, you know, she ain't that bad. Oh my god, be careful. Be careful now. And oh yeah, if you guys were wondering who that was, that was my dad. He's telling me that and he turned on the water softener, so I can't use. Well, I can't flush the toilet or take a shower, so. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, I'm sorry I was sold to the fucking fellow soldier. I don't know, should I do that? Or should. I? You see, the other one looks interesting. Let me go and do the other one. I don't know why I decided that, but I finally did. <laughs> oh shit. Sorry to the fat bosses I ran over today. Oh shit. Oh, crap. See, first of all, why would you run in front of a friggin' vehicle? It's common sense not to uh, be running into a vehicle. Like, do you think I'm that stupid to stop? No, I'm gonna run your ass over. Durr. Oh shit. Accidentally shot a civilian, my bad. Not anymore. Because I got so many uh, metal hit things, 
I should actually go talk to the Oracle. No, this Oracle is not friendly, in my opinion. <laughs> At 306, brother. It just eliminates everyone. I have more. What do you need, Mr. 200? Not too bad. But that's good now. Because I need a little bit of some extra stuff, you know what I mean? I just went around her dad. go on the water or else I'm gonna get fucked. Wait, where the hell am I supposed to go? Please. Oh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Who do you think I am? about that because I think you guys are gonna get minigun oh so out of my way sir you're kind of out of my way people okay I will need you guys walking up oh motherfucker Any guns in the motherfuckers? Oh, I'm on my way, bitch. Oh shit. Give me the money. Oh shit. Oh, oh he landed. Another fucker. He decided to land right on top of me. That didn't sound right, but you guys know what I mean. Oh god damn it! <laughs> Out of my way, bitch! Bop! 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 Oof! 
Oh shit. No, 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 Guys, I need help. Oh! Uh oh, not good. No oh, fuck. Oh! No! Oh, why did I jump down the water? Okay, so I was just freaking stay back and just fire at him. Probably the smartest idea, in my opinion. There we go. Play cleared. Get cat. Oh shit. I'm all way, people. Cause I'm heavily armed. I'm armed and dangerous. Fucking respawn. Oh, that's not fun. Me, they're gonna trap me. I only want to go back and get ammo, but you guys are making harder for yourselves and make it harder for me to do my freaking job. There we go. So I don't even need to stress the trigger. so far. I just be better off using this. Yeah, I'm better off just using this. Then I have some ammo for backup. Get 
capped. Oh, they... They can only come one way, which is good. Holy shit. They have a lot of reinforcements, don't they? I'm surprised these guys would want to fall for such predicaments. Oh no! Oh, you motherfucker! Fuck you! Oh, that guy's not over! They're definitely in high demand with this artifact. Holy shit. Waste the life of their own soldiers for this damn artifact. Should probably be that important. Sorry guys. Out of the way. There you go. Citizens out of the way. Oh my god. The fast guy out of the way. Oh hi. How you doing? I'm heavily armed. I'm armed and dangerous. See what happens when you get in the way? Sorry, buddy. RIP right, to you. RIP right, to the uh, fat chubby dude. I so did not mean to murder him. So what if I was just go this way? Oh, I see the reason. Yeah, I should have went this way instead. Oh shit, actually never mind, they're coming from behind. Shit. Blast him. Cause I'm armed and dangerous. Cause these bitches. I don't even know what I'm even saying. <laughs> I'm just saying some random ass song that I don't even. Oh shit. Oh no. That's not what the snap for. He sniped me from across the. Mm. This does seem like a pretty effective weapon, but that's the thing too. Not necessarily a very effective weapon. Oh shit. Dad! How do you guys that for an accurate? You guys are amazing! I had to go full auto on everyone. It's not really the smartest idea, so I'm just gonna stick to my right. How do you get the upper hand in gunfights? Oh my goodness gracious. And that's the thing too, I have to stay on this platform. And there's not much mobility I can do either. So it's it's nearly impossible to dodge the bullets. Like, there's just no way you can dodge the bullets. There's just no way. Like you have to like switch between weapons and that kind of shit. Back up, back up, back up. Oh! Yeah, I might end up having to use my shotgun on these guys. Because they just, they just way too accurate <laughs> with the fucking rifle. Like, it's absolutely amazing how accurate you can be with the rifle like that. I thought these guys were idiots. 
but that's what the hell I get for a stereotypical thinking. Yep. Fuck. Oh my. Oh. God, you see, you can't, you can't dodge all the way. It fucking sucks. Oh shit. It fucking sucks. Like, it really does, guys. Like, it's just... Okay, there we go. See, I'm in cover now. Technically, I am. Because... You see, when I'm down low like this, they can't get a good shot on me. They have to freaking aim like gods. Like, there's just no way they can hit me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, them bullets are near me. my way. Get out of here. Oh my god. There's so many. God help me. This is like a freaking apocalypse. But we're freaking soldiers. Oh. You motherfucker. There's like no way you can... Like, I can try my best to fucking run as much as I can. Like, I can... Kill me. Like, there's just absolutely no way you can just... Okay, you know what? Actually, perfect idea. Oh! You motherfucker! Oh, fuck you! Oh! I don't know, like, could I possibly outrun the freaking thing? Let's see how well. Oh, well, no. <laughs> there is no way to outrun it. God damn it. There is no way to fucking get across there. It is impossible. Oh shit. Good dodge. Oof. I'm on my way. What? Oh, it's because the fucker land. Oh, fuck you. Fuck, fuck you for real, man. God damn. This gonna be like one of them games where I fucking remember this too. Oh. oh. Damn it, out of the way, fat ass. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that ever offends anyone if I call someone a fat ass, but still, like, it's kind of pissing me off a little bit. Oh, fuck me, man. Oh, my God. Oh, guys, this is... This is not fun. I repeat. Holy shit. Guys, it's not fun. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you for real, damn it. Oh my god! I'm sorry, I'm getting a little anxious now. I'm actually getting a little anxious. What the fuck was that? That is not what I wanted you to fucking do. Well, I get a sidewinder. Pretty neat move, but still, it's kind of. <laughs> but right now, my sanity is on its limit. Oh my god, my sanity is about to go up the roof! Ha <laughs> ha, oh, man, get the fuck off me! God damn! Oh my god. I'm glad that none of my friends are watching right now because. Holy shit! I've never been this pissed! How the fuck do I. There's no way I fucking hit you! Get- Mmm, my Jesus Christ, guys. Jesus fucking Christ. 
This is what I'm talking about. Bullshit games. And they have it to where you can't fucking escape for the water. You try to escape for the water, you're literally fucked. There's absolutely no way possible to get for the shit. But if I was able to beat this game like a while ago, then I should be able to fucking beat it. Because there's there's just there's just there's a way to beat this, but the shit is fucking challenging as hell. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Get the fuck off of my dick, you motherfucker! Oh my god, guys. I am losing my patience! Do not land in the fucking water. Do not land in the fucking water! Oh my god, guys, like this, this, I've never experienced this shit in my life. Like the other bullshit, and two, the seconds that it takes for them to be able to do another hit, it should be impossible, because it should be five seconds to where they cannot do another hit on you. But clearly, they're able to do like fucking five hits in just a... In just a fucking matter of seconds. It's fucking impossible. That is not how the first game worked. It was completely... How the fuck did you not make it? Like, it was absolutely impossible. There was no... There's no way that it should be this many seconds. In the... Fucking... Guys, my... My patience has... Gone off the roof. Because I have never experienced such bullshit like this. Oh my god, guys. Like, this is just completely fucking... Why the fuck do you do that? God damn! <sighs> oh, guys. My patience. It's off the fucking roof! It is off the fucking roof right now. Like, it really is. Like, I'm not even kidding, guys. I wish- Okay, now I kind of wish my friends were here to kind of calm me down a little bit. But, of course. No. Of course. Fuck me, man! have never ever been this bad. Like, to the point of me actually slamming my microphone. Like, that is... Oh my god. Like, this game being able to bring me to that point of freaking slamming my microphone. Like, that's just... Amazing. It's just amazing such a game like this can bring my fucking patience off the roof. Like it is just crazy. A game being able to just take me off the roof means it's a really good game, but two, it's a fucking game of me piss getting pissed off really bad. It is absolutely fucking 
Oh my god. I swear, I hope you guys do like this guy's thing. You know, except for Moore. Because, guys, I'm telling you, this game has me off the friggin' roof. Like, it just has me so off the roof. You know, like, it is crazy. How much this game could piss me off. Hello, Blue. Welcome to the live stream, buddy. I wanted to, you know. Well, you kind of missed the little moment. You really did miss the moment. I'm telling you. Like, this game has me on the edge. Like, it is barely hear me. Shit. <sighs> Shit. Why did I have slam my damn microphone? <laughs> Hope you can hear me a little better now. Because like I probably shouldn't have slammed my microphone like I did, but I did. I slammed my fucking microphone. So, very sorry if uh, right now it's not working. Let me open up the live stream on my phone. Hopefully, you guys can hear me because I might have fucked up the microphone. Thanks to this damn game. Alright, yep, you can stop. You can hear me. Uh, <clears throat> That's good to know. That's good to know that I did not break my microphone. Because... This game has me off the roof right now. Like... Like, if a game is able to piss me off this bad... Then this is a absolutely amazing game in my opinion. Just if it can piss me off so bad of me slamming my microphone on the table and all that. You did kind of miss the moment and all that. But if you go back a few minutes, uh, you'll hear me slam my freaking microphone. It disconnected my microphone for a second, then it reconnected. So. I'm just hoping to God that really did nothing too serious because, um, like I said, this game has me off the roof. Now, let me describe the level to you. Just describe the level to you. So, at this moment, we find the artifact. A artifact that supposedly is very important, I'm pretty sure, for time travel and other things as well we find the artifact here we are because then all of a sudden crypts and guards they're all pissed because oh we want we want the fucking artifact and shit and yeah so at this time you're fighting them and like you're of course like you know you, you can actually see them running towards me but I pause the game because I really don't want to continue <laughs> but basically it's so so ridiculous of like alright best way I can describe it so they get dropped off there's freaking lots of them I mean fucking 20 fucking 30 40 50 I, I honestly don't know how many in total, but there is a fucking whole lot. And they are absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I, I tried the, the smart way of, you know, holding back, shooting them. That doesn't work. <laughs> it does not work. And all that. And this is the catch, too. 
I have to stay on the freaking docks. I have to stay on the docks no matter what. Because if I go into the water, you have a fucking turret that automatically comes up. Because once you land the water, you're dead. Like, you're dead. So there's absolutely no way for you to jump in the water and escape or anything. So, yeah. And... Like, before... But this is the aftermath now, so I'm all... You know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just telling what happened... Because, oh my god. I never ever had a game like this before that have provoked me to slam my microphone this bad. Like, it's so, like... Like, that's how you know... I shouldn't say that's how you know it's a good game, but two, it's very rage-inducing. So, I... Oh my gosh. Oh, my microphone's okay. Sorry for uh, slamming you. I'm sorry for slamming you, baby. I'm very sorry. But yeah. Slam my fucking microphone. Luckily, it didn't broke. So, I'm good. Oh, God. And I'm not going to continue this mission any further. Like, I'm not. Because I have never, ever had a mission in my lifetime that has done this to me. Where I'm freaking, like, oh my god, be pissing me off to where I'd be hitting the freaking table, cussing out super loudly, and then me slamming my goddamn microphone. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's something for you. That is definitely something. Now, luckily, this microphone's actually... It has, like, a uh, table. It has, like, a mount. So, you know, it's flat. So when I slammed it, basically, the, the uh, bottom piece kind of absorbed all the stuff, not the microphone itself. So it was able to survive that brief uh moment so yeah mm. but yeah i'm not continuing this mission there's just no way i was able to beat the race racing one and actually it was kind of funny because for the racing one tell you, for the racing one it was that was pretty funny because for that one because I do have uh, algebra homework but you know I I do it at school I do my homework at school so you know so technically it's not you know homework at all so <laughs> but basically um I decided you know how about we try a little fun thing to kind of make my homework a little fun like do some of it just for the racing mission like I haven't did all of it but I'm just gonna do the rest at school anyway so whatever but basically the <laughs> so how it went was that I would have my homework on the table of course with the pencil of course a calculator like come on who does not use a calculator so basically every time I died or lost that race I'll do a I'll do a question and actually let me let me describe you what the questions are. And this is Algebra Two, by the way. So if you remember anything from Algebra Two, you're amazing because I don't remember anything from Algebra to be honest, except for a few things. So you know you have your n plus nine equals twenty seven. You know, pretty simple. You take the nine, you minus it, minus it on the twenty seven, and then uh, of course eighteen. You know, it's just simple stuff. But yeah, so yeah, it was pretty fun. It was a fun way to 
do homework. Oh, I can't help. It, well, yeah, I, I kind of expected that. All right. You know, all of us normally forget algebra, to be honest. But some of us remember geometry, but a lot of us forget algebra. Because to me, algebra is not really something you got to learn. It's it's mainly going to be, you know, either uh, uh, geometry or just regular math. That's really about it. Of course, addition, your subtraction, your multiplication, you know, all that stuff. But yeah, we had four pages to do. Fun fact, yeah, we got four pages to do. And so far I already got like two pages done. Almost done with a third page. Um, I only got one more page to do. It's not that hard of stuff. It's like solving one step algebra problems with addition, subtraction. Uh, one step algebra problems with multiplication and division. Multiplying and dividing with negative numbers. And the last one was two step algebra problems. And, like, because we, like, crazy fact and all that, uh, we have to do all of the, uh, well, no, my my class had to do all the questions. So they had to do, because each page has 20 questions. So you got 20, 40, 60, 8, uh, 88 problems. They had to do 88 problems. But because I would, because I am in IEP and all that, I only have to do uh, 40. I only have to do 40 problems because I'm in IEP. And if you guys don't know what IEP is, that's that's what you do if you like. The only way you ever get IEP is either number one, you are. I think how it goes is that you know you're. Because I went to a, I went to a preschool for development disabilities and all that. Because when I was little, I absolutely spoke no language at all. I spoke no language. I was speaking gibberish, and I had my own name for Juice. Don't ask me. I was an interesting child, young. <laughs> but yeah, I went to a preschool for um, development disabilities. And all that. Um, basically, I went there. Uh, a psychologist, I think. I think that's actually what you get tested by is a psychologist. Yeah, a psychologist. Like a psychologist and all that. You know, you go there and all that. You know, you like what? What? that place is specifically is for people with you know who just couldn't read or like because i was a person that just couldn't speak english so you know i had to you know go over there specifically just for reading my mom didn't have any other attentions but it was just reading and speaking english that was about it no other reason for me to you know be there but just for that reason but you know because they saw this you know they they get psychologists I think it's a psychologist right yeah I think you actually get tested by a psychologist for a IEP if I remember but yeah they you know I would go to this one woman and she would you know I think I had to take a REN test or something like that to uh, prove that I had a learning disability. I forgot how that went. Yeah, it's been years. It's been years, guys. It's It's been since 2006. 2006, 2007. Yeah, so I went there for three years. 
But yeah, I got tested by a psychologist and yeah, I learned this ability and that's how I became eligible for a IEP and all that. Because, you know, I think a lot of like a lot of us, you know, we all I really look at it is just learning at a different pace. It's nothing too, you know, like too like it's nothing to really be really concerned about, but like actually it would be because well learning disability you do have to you do have your times where you do learn at a different pace than others and all that. Like that's the best way I can describe it is you learn at a different pace. Um you know, sometimes you have you have um you know, you have to um, like I hardly remember any of the process I had to go through. But yeah, you know, like But yeah, like with a learned disability, you know, you you have your complications. You have you know, you're just learning at a different pace and all that. That's a that's really the number one thing is that you learn at a different pace. Um, sometimes your grammar can split, like kind of spit up as well. I sometimes have that where my grammar is kind of bad and all that. That happens to me and all that. Like where I'll say something and then it slips up wrong. Like I can read like amazing now like I can read very well and all that like I can read extremely well you know I have no problems with reading and all that but yeah it's just learning at a different pace than others um you know it's necessarily it's something you know you kind of have to get used to and kind of live with you know <clears throat> because of course you know my mom she she didn't want to accept the fact that I had a learning disability she didn't want to accept the fact until you know until my mom figured out that it's something that is inherited and all that, and I don't want to say who I inherited it from. I'm not gonna say, oh, it was my mom, it was my dad. I'm not gonna say who I inherited uh, the learning disability from. Let's just say that. But yeah, that's that's basically how it goes. It's inherited, and you know, it's not because of me abusing drugs or you know doing anything of that sort. It's not because of that. It's like I said, mainly because it's something that's just inherited from your gene and all that. But of course, you know, there's nothing wrong, you know. You can still do normal things and all that. It's just that when you go to work at a workplace, you know, you, like you, as I had a meeting with uh, a disability, uh, like professor or something like that he t an activist i think that's what he was i think it was an activist if i remember but basically he talked about how we can you know because you know because that's the thing once you go out of high school them them papers of you having a disability just disappear you know you you no longer have access to them papers and all that once you leave high school and, all that. and that's something that can't really no longer be used but when you go to college you know you can set up for something i forgot what you, i forgot what he called it but sometimes it was kind of hard to understand him because he he had a what you would call a physical disability where you know he, when he spoke it like it hurt his uh like throat it was 
like it was kind of bad because he would sweat obsessively and all that like it was really bad and all that but some of the things he said i really didn't catch on to and all that but basically talked about that if you go to a college or anything like that you can you know notify them that hey i have this disability or you know you can i think you can do something i forgot what he said you could do i think you could get extra service or extra tutoring or something like that i think that's what it was is you can get extra tutoring on a uh on studying a homework or studying a um uh, or doing homework or something like that i think that's actually what it was that he was talking about was just extra tutoring and all that for you know people like that you know and same thing goes with the workplace as well you know when you're in the interview and and you know that your disability could possibly get in the way just you know tell them you know like just tell them like hey i have a learning disability so you know like of course they'll probably ask you if it would affect your work and all that um because there are a few things they're not allowed to ask you Like, I, I completely forgot some of them things they're not allowed to ask you because if I do go to an interview and job interview and they say something that they weren't supposed to say, I'm not even going to have no idea. And two, it's not like I'm really going to care as long as it doesn't affect me, in my opinion. Like, that's just me. But if they're going to ask me for my gender, then that's kind of... Then it really doesn't make any sense because it's like, uh, you see what I look like like <laughs> I'm just saying like if if I was to go to a job interview and a person asked like during the interview if the interviewer was to ask me like oh what's your gender I'm like male like why you gotta know my gender like I'm clearly male like you spoke to me like for the whole minute but I don't know. But that's one of the things they can't ask you is your gender. Because that's supposedly discrimination, which I can understand. No, I can clearly understand that. You know. I understand that. But, yeah, just, you know. Because that's the thing, too. Like, that that's what kind of worries about me specifically is you know when i get into the video game industry and all that especially when i you know get into video game development like being a video game designer at a video game studio you know how would they react to me saying that i have a learning disability and all that you know like it, it kind of it kind of makes you think like okay like how would they think like what would they think about me you know would they still accept me except my because that's the thing to like they have to accept the application you know they i can't do anything about it but if i have the experience and all that they have to accept it they have to accept a period if I have the you know all the experience that is required they have to accept it you know so you know that that's one of my worries is that specifically is you know when I tell them that you know what will they say you know like will they say well uh, that's okay because you know you'll be working with other people they can help you out you know and two proper grammar is another thing that is somewhat required as well like that is a another thing that is somewhat required you know 
Like, like I can just because that's the thing. If I tell them that I have a learning disability, they'll probably give me a pass on the grammar part because I'll be like, well, you know, I do have a disability, so I it tends to take me a little while to catch on to things, and you know, sometimes my grammar can split, kind of mess up a little bit. You know, they'll they'll probably give me a pass on that if I tell them that, and that's the thing too because. Like, and this is the thing that kind of catches on to me too is, like, how many, like, how many people do they get in that says, "Oh, I have a learning disability," just to, you know, get a little bit of an easier job done. Like, how how many people actually go in and tell them that they have a learning disability, and that's that's another issue too because. It shows me that you can easily just walk into the uh, you can walk into a job and just tell them oh I have a learning disability that's it like, you can easily just tell them and then they'll do something to make your job a little easier and all that like that's what they'll do is that you know when you tell them that they'll try to make your job a little easier for you and all that to understand and to you know work with you know and that kind of shit you know like they don't actually ask for papers for IEP papers you know they don't ask for that stuff you know what I mean and that to me kind of is another problem as well is that I think you would have to go through a type of verification process to confirm that you do have a learning disability because you can easily just walk in and be like hey i have a learning disability make my job easier you know that that's all it takes that's all it takes is you just to walk in tell the employer that you know now of course it is not their business to know if you do have a learning disability or not so it's up to you to open up but that's the thing too it's to me, it's probably always best to open up, no matter what. It is best to always be open and to just tell them, like, hey, I have a learning disability, you know, because that's the thing. If you don't tell them that you have a learning disability or something like that, number one, like, the, the job, you know, it could be pretty difficult then because you wasn't open you know, because a lot of us have a certain mental capacity and all that. So, what I'm getting at is that, oh, you know, because, you know, I wasn't open enough, you know, like, I don't have that certain mental capacity, you know. But, yeah, it's just always best to be open about it, in my opinion. Because that's the thing, too, because if you're not open about it, you're going to be running into difficulties. You know what I mean? You're going to end up running into difficulties and that's bad news. You know, because if you're open about your, you know, invincible disability, that's what a learning disability is. It's known as a invincible uh, disability. But, yeah, it's just always best to just be open, be honest, and be like, hey, you know, I do have a learning disability. You know, like, like I said, they'll more likely ask you if you can still do the job. And, you know, you just tell them, like, you know, like, yeah, you know. And that's the thing, too. You can ask for assistance. I'm pretty for sure. If I'm for sure, you could ask for assistance with stuff. I think that's something you can do. I, I don't remember some of them... Uh, disability law things you know, like, like like I really don't remember <laughs> I really don't but yeah you know it's it's something that you know you it's just best to be honest about but yeah I just think in my opinion that to prove that you do have a learning disability and all that you have to go for a verification process because that's the thing you don't want 
you don't want to have a bunch of employee like you don't want to hire a bunch of people that end up saying oh I don't know where this bill but in reality they actually don't have a learned disability and to me that is absolutely ridiculous you know because they're taking away the help that you know people with real disabilities need you know and like that that's really a thing that kind of gets to me you know it's, it's like you need a verification process you just shouldn't go in and just say oh i've learned this ability show them the papers show them the iep papers saying that i've been in the iep because of this and this you know because that's evidence that's strong hard evidence right there so you're verified right there for a learned disability so yeah it's just something that you know yeah, it's just something that kind of bugs me a little bit and yeah it is something I do have to worry about when I do apply to becoming a video game designer for a video game studio in the mid future it is something I do somewhat gotta worry about you know definitely something that I have to worry about but I shouldn't worry too much about it because there is probably a way that will help me out because that's the thing when you're a video game designer you're actually working closely with other video game designers so you're working with the lead you're working with associate other associates so technically you're not alone you know if you need help with something you know you you know you just ask for help that's really how i look at it you know you ask for help you now you let people look over your work you know it's so necessarily I'm, I'm not gonna worry too much about it because you know i'll be working with other people as well so you know if there's something i'm not sure about they can help me out you know because there, there's absolutely nothing wrong with asking for help. There is nothing wrong with it. Like, because that's what you do. If you need help with something, you ask for help. There's absolutely nothing wrong with asking help, guys. Absolutely nothing wrong. You know? Like, just nothing wrong at all. But yeah, I kind of had to go on a little rant. And to this uh, activist that came for our IEP meeting, he did uh, talk a little bit about uh, what you want to call it. Um, shit, I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, yeah, I'm not hundred percent sure. But basically, oh yeah, that's right. That oh yeah, that's right because he wanted us to go to this uh big uh rally for uh you know disabilities and stuff and all that. And me, I don't like getting into politics. Me, I am not a political person and all that like that that's not me so i of course i didn't went because you know that's that's not me you know and just in case if some of you guys are um if you guys are just wondering about um what like for some who don't know the real definition of a learned disability that's basically what it is. Uh, learned disabilities are neurological based processing problems. These processing problems can interfere with learning basic skills such as reading, writing, and or math. They can also interfere with higher level skills such as organization, time planning, abstract reasoning, long or short term memory, and attention. So, you know basically that that's how it is all right 
And, um, yeah, okay. So this is actually how they uh, diagnosed me then. <laughs> I didn't know because I don't, because of course it's preschool. How the hell am I supposed to remember preschool? You know, I'm, I'm just saying. But basically, a way a learning disability is diagnosed is diagnosing a learning disability. Learning disabilities are traditionally diagnosed by uh, conducting two tests and noticing a significant uh, dis right, disparency between their scores. These tests are intelligence or IQ tests and a standard standardized achievement reading, writing, automatic test. So that's how that is diagnosed. I kind of figured IQ, like that, that's just me. I kind of figured IQ, and I think it has to be a certain level of IQ because I prefer sure if it's a lower, a much more lower uh, level of IQ, it can actually end up being autism. I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm pretty sure it's it, like the more lower your IQ is, the uh, different diagnoses you get. So the lowest I'm pretty sure is like autism or something like that, or severe autism. I I don't know because I I honestly haven't personally never ever met. A person that was autistic so I would never know in personal experience of how it is to live with that and from what I heard it's kind of it's a really bad uh, learning disability like really bad and it can really affect you know what jobs you can do and that's sad you know really sad uh, three types. Um, so apparently there are three types of different learning disabilities. I I wouldn't really know. Um, dyslexia or dice. Wait, D Y S means difficulty with Alexa. Lexia m means words, thus difficulty with words. Oh, I see. So this is probably what I had when I was a little kid. Yeah, that's probably, this is probably what I had when I was a little kid and all that was the uh, dyslexia, Lexia, I, I can't pronounce it right. Which is basically a disability where you have problems with reading skills. That's basically it. Um, dysgraphia. That's for uh, writing. Difficulty with writing. Um, what the fuck? Um, Dysacalalgia. Oh my goodness. There's some big words. <laughs> There's some really big words. Now the the trouble I would say I probably have in is more likely math. Yeah, I would just also I'm not for sure what I struggle with to be honest. I th because I'm not too bad at math anymore. Like I am absolutely good at math. Like I can do math very well now. There's a few things I'm pretty good at math with. There are a few things I'm not. So because I can read perfect. I can read absolutely perfect. You know I absolutely have no problem with that. Um, math, uh, math is still my less fa is my least favorite uh, subject. Like that will forever be my least favorite subject, in my opinion, is math. 
I fucking hate it. <laughs> I hate it with a passion. And they're very right about the organization uh, thing. Because guess what? Pfft, my stuff ain't organized. Well, actually, I'm starting to kind of get into the uh, habit of uh, trying to keep my stuff organized. I just have two folders. You know, one side is like programming software development. The other side's algebra. Other side's government. And the other side is English 9. So, yeah, I'm getting into the habit. You know, so. Yeah, I'm getting there. But what time is it? Okay, it's about to be 45, so I guess I'll go ahead and live stream. Why not? Because I'm not going to continue playing this game for tonight, so I'm going to go ahead and end the live stream. So, but I'm not going to do another live stream after this. I'm actually just going to enjoy the rest of my night. So if you guys did enjoy this live stream, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more if you haven't yet. And please share, 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 because I'll be doing a lot more live streams and all that. You know what I mean? I'm... I'm keeping up with live streams. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I am just grinding. I'm keeping up all my stuff. Because I actually care about you guys. I care about providing entertainment to you guys. I really do. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all on the next live stream. Bye.